الشرك ينقسم نسأل الله في السلامة إلى قسمين. So shirk, and we ask Allah to protect us from this, is of two categories. Shirk akbar, the major shirk. مخرج من الملة. That it takes a person out of the fold of Islam. إذا مات عليه فهو مخلد خلود أبدي في النار. And if he dies upon this, then he will be forever remaining in the hellfire. تاب تاب الله عليه. If he seeks forgiveness, then Allah will forgive him. Shirk asab. Minor shirk. إذا مات عليه نسأل الله في السلامة. If a person dies upon this and we ask Allah to protect us from this, he will be punished according to the level of his shirk and then he will enter Jannah. The levels of the prohibitions are four. The minor. That which is higher than the minor prohibition, which is the major. And then higher than the major sins is uh, the minor shirk. And then higher than this is the major shirk. Examples of major shirk. To circumambulate around the graves. Any act of worship that is done for other than Allah, then this is major shirk. He, someone who prays to other than Allah. Slaughtered for the companions of the graves. He fears the jinn as he fears Allah. Examples of shirk al-asghar. Someone who takes, who swears by other than Allah. For example, he swears by the Prophet. He swears by his life. But he swears by his father, his mother, or those who are dead. So he prays, however, by this prayer, he wants people to praise him and to show off to the people. This is minor shirk. If he says, if it wasn't for such and such person, then this would have happened. If it wasn't for this person, then I would have attained this. And the uh, foundation is that a person says if it wasn't only for Allah. And or a person says if it wasn't for Allah and then another person, and this is the belief that he's a means. In any case, it is a must that we take caution from all these four levels of prohibitions.